U.S. intelligence officials accuse the Kremlin of using Russian media organizations it finances to influence U.S. voters. Russian state broadcaster RT last month reluctantly complied with a U.S. request to register a affiliate company as a foreign agent under the Foreign Agent Registration Act. The Kremlin has denied meddling in the election and said U.S. restrictions on Russian broadcasters amount to an attack on free speech. The new media law in Russia is retaliation, it has said. The latest move, which is likely to further sour already battered relations, was widely trailed. Russian lawmakers rushed through the necessary legislation last month and President Vladimir Putin signed off on the measures on November 25. Russia's Justice Ministry said in a statement on its website that it was now formally designating U.S. government-sponsored VOA and RFE slash RL, along with seven separate Russian or local language news outlets run by RFE slash RL, as fulfilling the role of foreign agents. Under that law, foreign agents must include in any information they publish or broadcast to Russian audiences a mention of their foreign agent designation. They can be subject to spot checks by the authorities to make sure they comply with the rules, according to the 2012 law, which has forced some NGOs to close. One of the seven outlets on the Justice Ministry list provides news on Crimea, which Russia annexed from Ukraine in 2014, one on Siberia, and one on the predominantly Muslim North Caucasus region. Another covers provincial Russia, one is an online TV station, another covers the mostly Muslim region of Tatarstan, and the other is a news portal that fact-checks the statements of Russian officials.